¿Qué lo sabe? Start up. Okay, uh, good evening everybody. Uh, myself, Nilesh Banker uh, from GEC Gandhinagar. My topic for this, uh, for the presentation is FIR filter design using windowing technique. Basically, this is uh, from the subject of digital signal processing. And uh, if I can, uh, the prerequisite for this uh, uh, topic to understand is uh, to understand impulse response first, to understand Fourier transform, which is very famous, discrete, and uh, in this case, uh, we are concentrating on discrete Fourier transform and inverse uh, discrete Fourier transform. Uh, that's why I just linked that quote uh, to this slide that in mathematics, basically DSP cannot be taught without mathematics. So uh, we, you have to bear the mathematics. My session objectives is uh, at the end of this session, uh, the learner will be able, able to explain the FIR filter differentiate between the FIR and IR filter, illustrate the steps for designing the FIR filter using windowing, justify the importance of FIR filter using windowing. Uh, to start with FIR filter, uh, let me just uh, uh, tell you the name of this word, FIR stands for finite impulse response. Okay. The name itself tells you that it has a finite impulse response. Now, what do you mean by an impulse response is just to have a glimpse of impulse response. To uh, We know that uh, to understand or to characterize any, any process, any system, we need to, uh, let, let us, this is an input-output process system. And I wanted to know what is happening inside this block, inside this uh, black box. So I have to give some certain inputs to get the outputs. If I'll give an impulse signal, if I'll give an impulse signal, and whatever I'll get, get at the output, that is called as an impulse response of the system. And impulse response is one of the signal which will characterize the system, which, uh, which can tell you that how the system behaves. So that's why we will have a more importance on, impul on an impulse response. And FIR stands for final impulse response. Now, Just look at this figure I just wanted to, because my topic is to design FIR filter. Uh, let me start with the, this, uh, the first uh, figure tells you that basic uh, response of a low pass filter. Now what do we mean by low pass filter is it will pass the low frequency and it will reject the high frequency. It will simply pass the low frequency up to the transition, uh, up to this cutoff and then it will reject the high frequency. So if at all I wanted to design this ideal low pass filter, what should I do? This, the second figure actually tells you the two behaviors. The left hand side is in frequency response. Like this is my G of omega. Omega stands for frequency. And the right hand side is the time response. So if I have a pulse, if I have a rectangular signal, and if I find the inverse Fourier transform, because it's, in, it's in already in frequency, I wanted to convert in time. All practical signals are time domain signals. In lab, if we, I wanted to generate a signal, that is a time uh, that is a time domain signal. So, if at all I wanted to design this, actually I wanted to generate this. Can you know a, 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 anybody what what is this signal called? At? Yes. The name of this signal is called as in mathematics it's called as a sync signal. Sync signal is having a quite uh, characteristics. Uh, you can say that. It has a main. It has a main lobe at the center. It has a side lobes, like maximum value at the center, and it goes on decreasing and decreasing. Second thing is that it goes up to minus infinite to infinite. So this is my response in frequency. This is my re response in frequency. If I convert it into time, it becomes it becomes sync signal, and sync goes from minus infinite to plus infinite. Now just let's uh, go back to my basic question. I want to design low pass filter, ideal low pass filter. For that, I need frequency response like this. I need signal in time domain like this. Can I able to generate a sync signal in laboratory? 
can I generate a sync signal in laboratory? Yes or no? Obviously not. Because sync goes from minus infinite to infinite. There is no concept of going to minus infinite in real time. Yes or no? So basically, if at all I can't generate this, it means I can't get this. Is it clear? OK. This is called as an, this is my response in time. And it goes to minus infinite to infinite. It means it's, it's going to infinite. So this response is called as an IIR, infinite impulse response, OK? Which is not, which is not required, because we want, I wanted to design an FIR filter, finite impulse response. Now you need to tell me, what should I do to convert this infinite time signal into finite time? OK. How do I cut the signal in time? Any idea? How do I cut the signal in time? Should I take scissors and cut the signals? No, of course not. So what should I do? This is a mathematical function. What I need to do is I just need to multiply. I just need to multiply with another function, which is a finite signal. Is it OK or not? This is an infinite signal in time. I am taking another signal in time, which is of finite in nature, going from some minus m to m integer. m is an integer. If you do the multiplication of this two, what you will get? You will get a you will get a finite sink. Yes or no? Yes. Are you are you with me or not? Yes. So basically, my problem first problem is solved. Uh, my infinite time sig infinite sink signal now becomes finite. But what is my objective? My objective is to is to design low pass filter like this. So if I take an inverse Fourier transform, if I take sorry Fourier transform because this is in time, so I should convert it into Fourier transform. If I take a Fourier transform, do I get like this? No, because this I can get an ideal ideal shape only when I am having infinite sync. Since this is limited, I am getting the response something like this. Yes, you can say that. It is approximately nearer to the ideal, ideal low pass filter. Is it OK? So this is acceptable. For me, it is an acceptable. So I can, I can take the, sorry. OK. So this is what I, I just wanted to convey. So what I, what I just interesting thing, what I did from going from IR to FIR is I take a I take a function and this function is of size uh, of shape rectangular it seems like a window I applied a window function I got this as a window function and I applied this to a, my sync signal so that I get my ideal low, uh, practical 